What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Black 2 walkthrough. In the last episode, we made our way across the Tube Line Bridge and into Route 8 here, took down the trainers in the Moor of Icarus as well, and today we're going to finish up Route 8 and then head over to Icarus City itself, so that is the plan, and uh, man am I tired, dude. I don't know, I got, you know, um, I'm recording in the morning once again. I mean, I got a fine amount of sleep, but uh, I could have just laid there forever and ever. Uh, anyways, there's one trainer that we haven't uh, fought yet, so I'm going to go ahead and fight this youngster. Um, yeah, we just didn't make it over to this part of the route. And then we can check out Icarus City, which even though it's a small city, there's actually a decent amount of things to do in there. And at the end of this episode, we'll be catching a legendary. That's right, the plan is to go up the Dragon Spiral Tower. And because we did all the things with N in N's Castle and all that stuff by Victory Road, now Zekrom or Reshiram, if you're playing Pokemon White 2, will be waiting for us in the Dragon Spiral Tower. So that is pretty exciting. Anyways, I'm uh, going to send out Donald here for an unevolved crow gunk. I mean, what are you doing, youngster? Going to hit you with the hurricane. <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. Going to hit you with a hurricane. Right, Swana? Right? Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. There we go. But, uh, yeah, currently this morning I woke up and like, okay, I knew it was going to be cold today. But I woke up and apparently there's a chance of snow in a little bit. Like, man, we're like halfway through February, bro, and we still got chances of snow. I mean, what are we doing? What are we doing? But, I mean, again, to be fair, it is February. Plenty of places still get snow in February. Um, I don't know. I'd say at this point, at this point, I'm almost ready for the spring, though, I feel like. Um, I feel like March is going to be a good month, and, I mean, when this video goes up, it is going to be March. So, I guess what I'm saying right now is kind of pointless to you guys. Um, here's a Vaporeon, of course. Just barely gonna live with one hit point. I mean, why wouldn't it? I did heal up since the last episode, though, because, uh, yeah, I needed to. We were running low on all of our PP and all that good stuff. But down goes Vaporeon. We take down Youngster, Aster, or Aster. I don't even know how to pronounce your name, but uh, I think there's one item we can grab. I'm gonna throw Bacon up front. You'll see why soon. But the item in the top left of this route is TM36 Sludge Bomb. Not too bad, actually. Not a very bad TM, probably one of the stronger poison type moves you can get in this game. And we can make our way down to Icarus City. So here we are. Now the city will look a little different, similar to Route 8, if you're playing in the winter time. As a matter of fact, if you're playing in the winter, I'm pretty sure you can reach that house and also get a max elixir somewhere. But we're not playing in the winter, so I can't do that. Um, I forget what, uh, what season the game thinks it is. I think it's like saying we're in the summer right now for whatever reason. Now over here um, is the entrance to Twist Mountain. We already checked out Twist Mountain, so we are good there. I am actually going to go inside the Pokemon Center though because there is someone that has something for us and it's like one of the only two people standing around in here. Yeah, we can get a Black Belt, which uh, let's see, it boosts fighting type moves, that's right. Sometimes I get it confused with the Expert Belt. Anyways, let's head up to some more of the houses up here. You got some people dancing and everything. And uh, just below the former gym is the Pokemon Fan Club. And uh, you can show the chairman here three different types of Pokemon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show him my starter first. Basically, if you show him a Pokemon that has um, gained 25 to 49 levels since meeting it, then he'll give you the EXP share. 50 to 98 levels, which my Embor was in that range because we got the cleanse tag. And then if you show a Pokemon that's gained 99 levels, you get the King's Rock. Uh, I'm not really gonna bother trying to get the EXP share. Obviously, I don't have anyone that's gained 99 levels. I mean, you pretty much need a level 100 Pokemon there. Uh, anyways, here's the former Icarus City Gym. I don't really think there's much to do in here. Yo, my boy Clyde, you got anything? No, I mean, I think it's kind of interesting because like the puzzle's still here and all, but I don't think there's any trainers. So I think I'm just going to, uh, to kind of, oh. Well, I was about to say, I think I'm just kind of going to leave, but uh, looks like I'm not doing that now. We'll check all the way at the end, because if you remember Bryson now, he's, uh, he's you know, a big old movie star and whatnot. And yeah, great. Now I don't even know where to go. Okay, no, I do know where to go. But yeah, he's a big movie star over in the Pokestar Studios. I mean, we worked with him. So um, yeah, this place is just completely abandoned. I mean, you know, I feel like they should turn this into something. 
But what are they going to turn it into? This is like a giant, like, look below us. It's just a giant, like, pit. I mean, what, what like, building are you going to make out of this? I mean, I'll see if there's anything at the end. I honestly can't remember if there is, but I don't feel like there is. So, yeah. And that puzzle was really easy. And, oh, wait, Bryson is actually here. Okay. Hey, how's it going, Bryson? Um, he's talking about Alder. Turns around a little bit. Buddy, I, I don't care. I'm just wondering if you have an item for us. I don't think you battle us. Yeah, he's gone. All right, so on the bright side, uh, we can take this really fun slide all the way down. Well, really dangerous slide, too. I mean, look at this. Like, we're we're straight up gone. No one's finding us if we fall off that slide. <laughs> um, but there's one more building we can check out, and that's this one up here. You can take on a little, like, quiz. I mean, you get, like, bombarded as soon as you walk in here. And you can get, like, an antidote or paralyzed heal once per day. I mean, it's just an antidote or paralyzed heal, so... I mean, it's not too worth it, I'd say, but whatever. So, you're going to get asked this question. What is the opposite of analog? Uh, <laughs> um, okay, we're getting a hint. It's not... I've never even heard of that word. What What was that? Um. Oh, gosh, that's right. And you have to fill it in. Would it be digital then? Right? Because, like, analog clock and, and digital clock... Dude, I have no idea. Um, I don't even know where to find digital. Oh, here it is. All right, well, uh, this is my answer, sir. I'm putting it in. Let's see if I got this right. If I got this right, oh my goodness, I'm just, I'm so freaking smart, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm doing good in quizzes like this. I'm completing the naming every Pokemon from a certain region shorts over on the main channel. I mean, aren't I just smart, man? <laughs> Anyways, the last thing I want to check out is actually across this bridge. And across this one as well because, whoa, Shadow Triad just appears out of nowhere. Yeah, that's right. You can't get this item. And that's because in order to get this item, you're going to have to fight all three of these guys in a row. Not sure why they uh, force you to fight them. Um, I mean, Team Plasma is done for and everything. But, no, you got to battle them. So, what? This is our second time battling them. I think we fought them back on the Plasma Frigate at some point. And uh, they're going to, or at least the first one's going to have some Fish Harps. And I think it's just, yeah, it's two Bisharps and an Absol. As a matter of fact, I think all of them use two Bisharps, I'm pretty sure. So if you have a Fighting type, Fire type, Ground type, I definitely recommend starting with them. And uh, Fighting type works right here because it's also super effective on Absol. So uh, just going to keep hammer arming away. Ooh, you do have Psycho Cut. That's not doing a lot of damage. Not even Stab. Okay, it actually did a pretty solid amount. Man, all right. I mean, yeah, these Pokemon are sort of mid to high 60s, so these may be some of the higher level Pokemon you've faced so far in this post game, unless you were a madman and went straight for Cynthia or something in Undela Town. I mean, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're taking a lot of damage here, which is not good, because, again, I think you have to take them on all three in a row. You can't heal in between. Um, you can heal in the battle, of course, but... Yeah, just uh, just be careful with that. But down you go. Almost to level 70. No, we're not going to be that nice level anymore. You know what I mean? And yeah, they just like teleport you to the front. And I guess you can say no. I'm not sure if that resets it and you have to take on the first one again. But uh, I don't know. I'm doing fine. So I think I'm just going to... Ooh, this is a triple battle. Okay. But yeah, I think I'm just going to keep on going. So I'm assuming the next one's going to be a rotation battle then. And uh, wow, I wasn't expecting the triple battle. This is, ooh, this is interesting. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, mm, we'll flamethrower excel, no, 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 we'll, well, I hope Bacon even lives to see a turn. I mean, I could heal, but I kind of don't want to. We can rock slide to hit all three of them, and then we'll, like, go for return on Excelgore. Bambi's probably dead right here, let's be honest. Yeah. Well, again, wasn't expecting the triple battle, so, my bad. But hopefully that Bisharp went for Crustle instead. Oh, it's dead. Never mind. <laughs> Sweet. Well, that's fine by me. And then, uh, yeah, funny enough, you would think, like, the next guy would have a, uh, you know, maybe an S Cavalier. Just because that's kind of the counterpart to Excelgore. But no, he randomly has a Binet, um, which doesn't really live up to the the strength of the other Mons. Um, let's see how much Rock Slide does. Uh, of course, we're going to miss. But then again, I guess all the damage is focused on Excelgore now. So, it's dead. Sweet. We got a crit, too. Not sure if I even needed that, but I will take it. And uh, let's go into Donald, I guess. We're just kind of going to have to 
gang up on this last Bisharp here. Sorry, Embor, you're not going to be able to do anything because triple battles are stupid like that. And, uh, oops, wait, no, I want to go for X-Scissor. And, um, I can't really use Surf, huh? Yeah, um, oh man, I didn't think this one through. Man, that's the only problem with having Surf. It's such a good move, but, uh, yeah, I just, I can't use it because I'm about to, like, I would obliterate Crustle. So I had to go for Ice Beam, which is pretty unfortunate. Flamethrower obviously fails. I mean, come on, it's a giant flamethrower. You're telling me that can't reach across the field? How many how many moves can like do that in triple battles? I feel like there's a couple out there that can go all the way across the field. There's Iron Head. Ooh. Nah, from full health, we're taking that. Oh yeah, baby. Now hopefully we didn't get flinched. That would be pretty tragic. And we didn't. Perfect. So two down, one to go. Haven't said it yet, but hope you guys are all having a good day. Hopefully your uh, your March is going pretty well. I mean, I'm still recording this back on February 17th, but uh, yeah, hopefully you know it's not been too bad. And we've got a rotation battle coming up, which is once again not good because I don't even know who like my third mon's about to be. But we shall see. We shall see. So yep, you're gonna start Bennett, Bisharp, and Bisharp. Now I am gonna take a risk here. I know Bennett's out front right now, but I am going to use Hammer Arm because I am predicting that you're going to rotate into one of the Bisharp. See, am I just the best Pokemon player around or what, man? I guess I could have gone for Flamethrower too. I think Flamethrower would have killed them either way, but oh well. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm the best Pokemon player there is. So, um, now let's go for Flamethrower. And, wow, she didn't switch over. Ooh, that's tough. Nah, Flamethrower still got it. We're five levels above. Then again, I think our physical attack is better, but... I mean, Flamethrower is just strong, no matter what you are. You could have, like, five special attack, and I feel like it's still... Well, maybe not five, but you know what I mean. And for the last Mon, because you're weak, let's go over to Donald. And now I can use Surf. Sucker Punch? Alright, I don't care. Punch me in the face all you want. I mean, it can't really hurt. You're like a piece of cloth or whatever you are, Bennett. I don't know. You look like a uh, like a straight jacket, you know? The ones where, like, you can, like, you know, people, like, get trapped inside of it. And then, like, the magicians or whatever um, escape them. And they, don't they have, like, all the scissors, or not scissors, uh, zippers and all that stuff on them? I don't know. And, yeah, what they were guarding was a PP up. So, all of that for a PP up. Great. But, hey, it was more battling. And, I mean, we're not doing a crazy amount of battling in this episode. So it's not too bad. But anyways, going to heal up because we've got a legendary to go hunt down. That's right. We got we to gotta head up to the top of the Dragon Spiral Tower and go find ourselves a Zekrom. Who's going to be at level 70, by the way. So could be somewhat tough. I'm not sure who I want out in the front. I mean, I just don't really have anyone that can status this thing. I'll go for Garfield. I mean, sure, I guess. I don't know. And uh, do I have Ultra Balls? Do I have plenty of Ultra Balls? I think I do. Still from like the catching the uh, the Reggies and all this stuff. I was about to say Regendaries. Yo, what? Like, dude, maybe I should not be recording early on in the morning. This is uh, this is not ideal. Where are my Ultra Balls? I don't want to use the Master Ball. There they are. We got 30. All right, I'll take it. Zekrom and Rushram are like box art legendaries. I don't think they've got a, you know, horrendous catch rate. But yeah, if you don't remember, Dragon Spiral Tower is going to be located north of the city. And I'm pretty sure we can actually surf if we want to check out this place. Oh, hey, what's your name again? Um, Cedric, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, just forgettable character, you know? He's sort of going to talk about it a little bit. And, uh, yeah, this place is really cool. This place, oh, man, the music. The music in the Dragon Spiral Tower. Like, it could, ooh, it could make me cry, bro. It's so, it's so nostalgic. It is insanely nostalgic. It's crazy. I mean, it is absolutely crazy. Um, I can't hear it, though, because I don't play with the game audio up. But, uh, yeah, it's... Wow, dude, it's crazy. All right, let me spray some more Max Repels. Need to get all the way back up to the top of this ginormous bag. I have way too many items now. And now it's just annoying to, like, scroll through them all. But, let's see. Yeah, I figured there was something over here. It is a Carbos. Haha, <laughs> that was so worth it. Definitely gonna use that. Nah, if anything, I'd sell it for that, like, 5,000 Poke Dollars you can get, or however much they go for. But yeah, I mean, this this theme in this place is just, oh, it's insane. Now, 
I can't remember if it's the same layout as black and white. So far, it looks like it is. So, uh, it's gonna be pretty easy to get through. And this time around, you won't be, like, fighting your way through Team Plasma, so that's nice. And, uh, yeah, we got these, like, knocked over pillars. I could push that strength boulder over, but then I wouldn't be able to get this elixir over here. And I keep on hitting, like, the bottom of my chair with my foot by accident. I'm not sure if y'all are gonna hear that in the background. I've done it, like, three times so far. And then on top of this little one, you've got an Ultra Ball. Yo, maybe that will be the Ultra Ball that catches Zekrom. Maybe, maybe. Alright, next floor. Um, yeah, you're still gonna have to do these little things with, like, the, uh... You know, the good old... Wow, that was pointless. Um, the good old ledges, and then we've got a similar little room coming up next. There's a shiny stone, though. I think there's a ton of items to grab on the way up, so I'm gonna try to grab all of them. And yeah, you can still run into wild Pokemon, so watch out for that. Hey, protein. Probably gonna do the same as I did with the Carbos and just, like, end up selling it. But yeah, if you want to progress quickly, take the one on the bottom. And that'll take you up here and into the next room. And this is that big... Oh, wait, no, sorry. The next room is the big circular room. Um, yeah, I forgot about this random one. I think there's maybe one item we can grab over off to the right. Oh, three! Yo! Oh, that's right. These are all the orbs. Yeah, Adamant Orb. Uh, what is it? Lustrous Orb and Grizzius Orb. Yeah. Um. Wow, I can you... I don't know if I'll be able to get Dialga, Palkia, and Garatina. Um, but obviously, I mean, those are the items associated with them. I can't remember how you get them in this game, or if you just have to trade them over, but... I mean, hey, if there's a way for me to get them, I'll show it off for sure. Um, that's not gonna be in this video, though. But yeah, in this room, you just wanna make your way towards the center and then make your way back out. There's the TM for Dragon Claw, not too shabby. Feel like we should've gotten that TM, like, you know, during the main storyline, but whatever. Whatever, Game Freak, you just wanna make it hard on us. I mean, no, that's good. You need to make your games harder, man. PP Max over there. And uh, let's go back towards the middle. And you want to try to get to that staircase. Which, by the way, that staircase looks so awkward. I mean, the fact that it's just, like, cut off. <laughs> just because of the graphics is... I don't know. It looks so strange. And the final one over here is a Max Revive. So, those are always nice to pick up. And now, I believe this is going to be the final floor, right? Um, nope, we got one more. Okay. Yeah, I just forgot that there's like 8,000 floors in this place. Uh, by the way, another very dangerous area here. I mean, look at that. You just fall down and you fall into the abyss, which makes no sense because like, shouldn't there be a, a floor there? Because there was a, you know, ceiling to the other floors below, but hey, I don't know. I'm going to drop a quick save before I do this though, because I mean, come on, I don't want to screw this one up. And yeah, there's nothing over there. So, Zekrom, it's time to appear for your boy. The Darkstone is trembling. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out of my bag. What you mean? What you mean? Alright, so, again, this will either be the Darkstone or Lightstone that's gonna be doing this cool little animation. Um, Darkstone's gonna be Zekrom, Lightstone will be Reshiram. And, uh, yeah. So, they're gonna be level 70. Um, I think I might have said that before, but they will... Uh, you know, they will be pretty strong. Zekrom's going to have Fusion Bolt, Zen Headbutt, Dragon Claw, and Imprison. And then Reshiram's going to have Fusion Flare, Extra Sensory, Dragon Pulse, and Imprison. So, yeah, it looks like Reshiram's a bit more uh, special, specially attack-based. Zekrom's a bit more physical. Zekrom, in my opinion, looks like the cooler one, man. I just remember, like, I remember getting um, Pokemon Black and White when I was younger. And Zekrom is just, yo, look at this. I mean, this animation... Is pretty freaking dope pretty freaking dope so uh yeah now he's kind of just standing there towering over us he's like hey why'd you calm me down i was like well i want to catch you and then stick you in the pc for the rest of your life so uh yeah let's do it zach Ron. let's go baby and i guess you could save there as well um so you don't have to go through the animation again but hopefully i just catch this thing first try that would be uh that would be ideal but here we go, level 70. Um, you know, Reshiram Electric Dragon got Terravolt for its ability. I mean, I'm just going to try and hit this thing as hard as I can. I don't really have any status effects to put on it. And this is probably going to take a second, and this video is already like almost 20 minutes long. And uh, Garfield might die right here. So, uh, yeah, give me one minute. And there we go. Not long at all to catch that thing. Just got it down to red health with a couple of my mons. I think that was my third or fourth Ultra Ball, and we got it. 
So, uh, we got the deep black Pokemon. Um, I'm not sure, but I think Dusk Balls may work well as well, because I think we are technically inside. Um, but I just used Ultra Balls. And hey, look who it is. It is N. So, um, yeah, now he's gonna tell us that we can go to the Giant Chasm, because, ooh, there may be another Pokemon waiting for us there. And, uh, yeah, if you know by now, it is going to be Kiram. Kiram is, uh, over in the Giant Chasm. So... We can, uh, we can head over there, but for now, I am going to call it a day, and we will probably check out the giant chasm, and, uh, I don't know, see what we're doing next in the next episode. For now, though, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, deuces.